Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite inexpensive art supplies which was a video that I think my friend on Twitter suggested like a bit ago and I thought that was a great idea so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite inexpensive art supplies that you can get as a beginner or just as someone who doesn't have much money and loves to do art. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have on my list is the Crayola Super Tip Markers. I keep mine in this case with a bunch of other cheap markers. Some I did get rid of because they sucked, but um, I have various different ones. I have some like old Crayolas and these are the Super Tips. I'm not sure how many was in the pack that I got but I did look online and the 50 count is like $7 and that's a lot of markers. I also have some play school ones. I also have some from Ikea that were like a couple bucks. And I also have these. Get them on sale. Get them at Michael's with a coupon or at Walmart. They're very inexpensive. This is my marker collection. I love these markers because they just allow such freedom with your coloring and drawing. If you just feel like drawing, I draw with these. If I'm like, I just want to do a doodle, I just draw with these. I actually have a video of a little book that I did just with these markers that I will link like in the little, the thing with the eye. You can go check that out and see what I've done with these. They're not comparable to more expensive markers, but they're just a great fun tool to have. I was literally so happy the Christmas that I got this in like a sketchbook and I was just like drawing tons of things. They're just great. And the super tips are great because they're smaller tips. They're not tiny, but they're small enough that you can do nice drawings. The next thing I have is I feel like an essential, if you're an artist and you like drawing and you erase things, I don't want to say you need this, but like you need this because it's so better than normal erasers. And that is General's Needed Rubber Eraser. It doesn't have to be General's brand, that's what I have. And they're just like a dollar, couple dollars. Depends, I guess, which kind you get. But what is amazing, amazing about these is there's no eraser boogers. There's like, you get one maybe if you erase an entire sheet and they work so well and they're kneadable and it lasts forever. This is about two thirds of one. I have a little piece about that big that I use in my pencil case. And then I have this one for when that one gets too dirty to use, basically. I mean, you can use it indefinitely as long as you don't get it too dirty. And I still have all this left. Another fun thing, it's stress relieving. When you're drawing, you can like be playing with this. A great tool, a great tool. The next thing I have are Paper Mate Flare Markers, which I keep in this. These are more of marker pens, like that. It was a set of 12 for $12, it's a dollar each. That's really, that's pretty cheap. And I really like these because just like the markers, they're great for doing little drawings. You could also outline with these because they're thin enough and I just love them. They're a great go-to thing when I want to just do some color drawings. Next, we have these watercolors, Marie's, and they're actually Chinese, which I didn't, I didn't realize. The packages I looked online were different than this one. This one I got at Ocean State Job Lot, I think. It's $4.99, so these were $5. I've had these for a while and I've only just started using them, but they're so much better than the other cheap watercolors that I have. They come in tubes like this, so you will need like a palette to put them on. Look at all this color though, look at the variety. They work great because I have some like more expensive watercolors that are already in the pans and these work just as well. I use them on a painting I did the other day. I'd show you it, but it was a Christmas present, so I can't. Five dollars. Yes. Next, I want to share with you some acrylic paints that are very nice. This one is Sargent Art and is a 120 milliliters. The Basics brand by Liquitex is 118 milliliters. This costs, I think it was about three, probably two. I got this again at Ocean State Job Lot. A couple bucks compared to the Basics are more about five dollars. They work just as great as the Basics, honestly. And then the other brand I have is Craft Smart, which is just about the cheapest you can get at Michael's and it is like 80 cents and it comes in these little tiny tubes. 
or uh, bottles, I should say. The big difference between these is the consistency. The type of paint in the tubes, they're much thicker. In this, they're much more liquidy. Personally, I prefer the ones in the tubes, even though they're more money. I prefer the tube ones because I like to have the thicker paint for when I'm doing paintings, like layering up paintings. But there are also some good things about this. It's called coral. That makes no sense. This is not coral. Another good thing about this type of paint is if you want to create like abstract things, if you want the paint to be like flowing on the page to be able to manipulate it, or if you want to do like the stars and you want to do that flicking thing, this paint works so much better. To try to get like the abstract thing like where you tip the paint or you have it dripping. This stuff is great, but this stuff, like, you really need to water it down. So they both have great uses. That's why I'm recommending both of them. Next up, I have oil pastels, which for some reason, I've been able to find the easiest. I have these two little ones that were very cheap. The first one, Gallery Artist Soft Oil Pastels. You can see the two stickers. It was originally seven and it was on clearance for $2.80. Now, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, stores like that, they jack their prices up. So I don't know if this is like the original manufacturer's price, but $2.80. Um, and these were great, I'll show you them. That is a very big tip I have. Look in the clearance sections, look at what's on sale. Oil pastels generally work similarly, as long as they're not waxy like crayons. The next one is this. 12 oil pastels from Basic, and these I looked online were about $3, but I can almost guarantee you that I got these from the dollar store. I think I got these from Just a Buck, and this is what they look like. So they're a little smaller than the other ones, but they were a dollar. Cheap art supplies doesn't necessarily mean bad quality. Something like this, $1 at the dollar store, is not bad quality at all. It doesn't mean it's gonna be the top of the notch quality, but look for things in unexpected places like Walmart, the dollar store, the clearance sections. Look for the bargains and try them out. You know, if it's cheap enough, it's going to be okay if you waste a bit of money on a product that's not gonna work. You know, it's a bit of a risk, but you could find some great products that are inexpensive. The cheap stuff is not always bad. That's why I'm making this video, because I wanna help you out. The next thing I want to share with you, it's a great thing, and if you're an artist and you like to draw, you need some kind of this product. Can you guess what it is? It's pens for lining. And these are the Micron pens. I'm sure you've seen them if you are into art. They are great for lining. These have the word old written on them because I just bought a new pack because these are very much running out and I'm just such a cheapo that I don't want to just get rid of them because there's still some ink in there, but I don't want to use it for lining things because it doesn't work great anymore because they're running out. The one I just bought was a set of six and it was $7, so only a little bit over a dollar for each pen, which Separately, they are a little bit more expensive. That's why I got the whole pack. The different line varieties are really, really great. That's about all I can say about that. Next up, we have a charcoal pencil, and it is the Peel and Sketch Charcoal by General Pencil Company. And it sounds just how it is. You peel it and sketch with it. I like charcoal. I was turned onto it when I was like in middle school, I wanna say maybe even elementary school, and I bought myself a tube, or my parents bought me a tube. I was a tiny child of charcoal, like actual willow charcoal, and I still have it, and I love that stuff, but this is way more practical because it's a thicker piece of charcoal. It's in a pencil form. Charcoal, good for sketching, good for coloring in. And this is about a dollar. Go to like an art supply store as opposed to Michael's and you can find a whole section of different kind of charcoal pencils and lead pencils, graphite pencils, all the pencils, all the pens individually in cubbies. I've been to a couple art stores that are like that. The last thing is painting related, and that is just some sponges. These type of sponges are great, but they're more of a one-use, I mean, they're all well, kind of a one-use sponge unless you continuously wash them. They're about 20 cents at Michael's if you'd want to be painting things, but you don't want the brush stroke. Also, cosmetic sponges um, are great for like if you're dabbing, like how you would do it with your nails to kind of get a gradient effect. You can also do it on paintings to get a gradient effect or like a galaxy or anything that's just like a light application of 
paint. These are great. I got this pack at the dollar store. That is everything that I have to show you. I hope this was a little bit helpful. I tried to go with every kind of category that I could think of. One thing I didn't mention was paper and canvas. I can mention canvas right now. I basically get the cheapest canvas there is. Usually Artist Loft, the um, value packs. I go to Ocean State Job Lab for that too, but also at Michael's you can get the coupon on it. Like a set of seven for 15, and they're all the same size canvas, and if you're starting out painting and you wanna start getting some paintings done, seven canvases last a while. $15 is not very much, so it's a couple bucks per canvas. There was just a Michael sale that I went to 70% off. I got some slightly higher quality ones. I'll show you. Academic level, number one, canvases. We're on sale for 70% off. I bought three different sizes of these the other day for like a couple bucks each. I already did a painting on one. Wanna see it? Bam! Cool. Look on my social medias to see a better picture of this. Because I'm not like rich, because I'm not like making money off my art very much right now, I'm not very particular about it because I haven't explored very much. As far as paper goes, I'm also not very particular about paper. The only thing that I've so far found that I really like is the Strathmore Yellow Bristol paper for Copic markers. It's not in this video because it's not the cheapest. Computer paper is great. Cardstock. If you want to try mixed media kind of things, get some cardstock or like um, a mixed media sketchbook, kind of things like that. I didn't include sketchbooks either because sketchbooks are everywhere. You can kind of figure out for yourself if a cheap one's gonna be good or not. You could feel the quality of the paper. This is my sketchbook right now. It's not my favorite because I don't like the spine being on the top, but it's uh, Piccadilly from Barnes & Noble. And you know, the retail price is like $18, but these are always on sale. I think it was about $5 or something. My dad got me this. Thanks, dad. It has basic paper in it, computer-esque paper, but it's a little bit thicker. And I've been able to like do different medias on this, so very surprisingly, without it like destroying the paper or anything. I've done Copic markers. This is where I did this uh, three marker challenge thing. Watercolor. It's not the best for watercolor, but as long as you don't saturate the paper, like it's not very wavy or anything. So this is definitely a good cheap sketchbook that I just thought I'd mention. So yeah, experiment, try out different cheap supplies. I hope this video was helpful at all. I hope I gave you some ideas for things that you might want to pick up. I had a lot of fun making this type of video because I like to share with you what I like to use and what's helpful for me that could possibly be helpful for you. And also I really just like my Crayola markers so I wanted to share them with you because I'm a child. Let me know what kind of inexpensive art supplies you like to use because I could always use some recommendations. Let me know what you thought about this video. Give it a like if you liked it and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my weird little self and lots more art stuff because I'm so into art right now. I'm just living, breathing, and sleeping art. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next. Bye! Like my wintery outfit. Very wintry. I can wear my snowman sweater. Oh, painted my nails red.